Hello and good evening, dear students from Intermediate Module 2. It's great to say hello, hello, hello to each of you. Welcome to one more session of your English classes. How are you doing, people? Did you have a good weekend? What did you do? Tell us about it. Are you coming energized after having two days out of your routine, Saturday and Sunday? How's it going? Welcome, welcome everybody, welcome. Hello. Can you hear me or can you not hear me? Hello, Iris, how are you doing tonight? Very well, teacher, I good time to rest and relax the weekend uh, it's good and you me too me too i had a great weekend also i had um a great class last uh saturday uh sunday i had some family time you know and so we can't complain we're back on track starting uh -huh. the day with the right food on a monday you know in a new week so I'm nothing but blessed, nothing but happy to have the opportunity of being with you. Yeah, okay. We're healthy, we're complete. Yeah, some people are having a very bad time right now. So we gotta be thankful. We gotta be thankful, right? Yeah. Hello, how you doing? Mr. Nelson, I can see you there. How you doing? What's new, sir? I am okay, teacher. Oh Ready. yeah? What's new Ready. with you? What's new with you? Nothing new. Only I'm here, teacher. Listen, listen to the class. <laughs> okay, welcome to it. Welcome to it. We're very happy to have you. Hello, Josh. How you doing tonight, Mr. Sivrian? I can't hear you, Jose. Activate your microphone. Oh, only homework. Can I say? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You had a, you had a, you had a homework. Yes. What was your homework? Um, presentation with the the first conditional. So you're ready for your exposition? Is that Good what you're evening, telling me? teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, who's that? I lost my camera. I cannot uh, see anything. Me. Is that you, Byron? Good evening. Yes, good evening. Welcome, Byron. Tell me about it. Be my guest. Thank you. How are you? I am good. How was that weekend, huh? How was that weekend, sir? I am really good. Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. I can see you now. Well, let's move on. Uh, first, we're gonna go with the attendance. And I know that we have a couple of more expositions, right? Yes or no, yes or no. I'm, I'm still waiting for some of you. I have big expectations. I have big expectations on many of you. I know, I know whose turn is it? It's your turn. It's your turn, huh? <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay, let me call the attendance first. I know you're very impatient. You wanna pass right now, I know, I know. Let me go ahead with the attendance. Ana Julia Majora Rodriguez, are you in the house? Present. Present. Welcome to the class, Miss Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Are you there? Present teacher. Okay, ba Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here, teacher. All right, Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. I am here, teacher. All right, Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. <clears throat> okay, Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. All right, Daisy. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. 
Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Present. Okay, hello Elvia and Emma Jamilet Correa Madrid. I'm here, teacher. All right, Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. I am here, teacher. Great, Josibeth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Present, teacher. Okay, Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Next student should be Joel Ulysses Menjiver Mendoza. Josue Neftali Sibrian Hernandez. Present teacher, I'm here. Great. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Alejandro Barrias Arce. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman Santos. Monica Madisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Welcome to the class, Monica. And let's see if Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames is here. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Present, teacher. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. Sandra Jeanette Vasquez Cortez. I'm here. Thank you, Sandra. Sarah Maria Molina Cubias. Present teacher. Thank you, Sarah. And Saul Arnulfo Menjivar Crespin. Present teacher. All right, welcome Arnulfo. Let's go ahead and get started. Needless to ask you, I know you're waiting for your exposition. My question is, the $1 million question is, do we have a volunteer? I can't wait for those expositions. Do we have volunteers? Teacher. I'm sorry, teacher. Me, teacher. Oscar. Oscar Guardado and Manuel. Okay, Manuel, I got it. Let me see. No problem, Manuel. No problem. I'm glad you're back in class. Okay, Oscar, who is your who is your partner? Daisy. Daisy. Okay, let me put your note here. That's gonna be Oscar. What is your topic? Uh, I choose a phrase, uh, two parts verbs. Two part verbs. Okay, so you're working with Daisy, right? Uh, teacher, um, uh, yes. my topic is modal verbs. Okay, so you're not working together. Is that what you're saying? We choose at uh, different topics. Uh, different topics, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Who goes first then? <laughs> Ladies first or gentlemen first? <laughs> I don't know, for me, no problem. Okay, let's start with Oscar. Go ahead, Oscar. You got a okay. last three minutes and a half at least. Action. Thank you very much. The two part verse or another name is a phrasal verbs. A two part verbs, they are very common especially in in informal in informal english no in informal conversation uh, the structure the structure is a uh, phrasal verbs equal a verb a verb plus a participle uh, for example uh, put off yeah. 
where put is the verb and of is the participle. Uh, the tuple verbs can change in meaning, the meaning. For example, put is like a place and put off is like a, to postpone postpone some something. If you, for example, if the object is announced, it is usually possible to put this before the participle or after that it. For example, the noise woke the giant up or the noise woke up the giant and the meaning is the same. And another example is hurry up. For example, hurry up or we will never make it in time. And another one, for another example, turn on is very common. Uh, can you turn the lights on, please? Another is turn down, turn the TV down, for example, with is very noise. Or, or pick up, can, uh, is very common for me with, with my children. Can you pick up your clothes up, please? Or can you pick up your your toys up, please? Or and another is for I guess it's three minutes. <laughs> it's, it's, it is all. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. I like the way you gave some examples. Give me one second. You didn't prepare a role play because you have a different topic with Daisy, right? So there's no role play for you, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna give you nine because of the role play. We could improve your pronunciation because your grammar skills seem to be okay. Okay, Mr. Uh, Oscar, I didn't find um, big problems on your speech, rather than the fact that in your case, since you are knowledgeable on grammar, um, maybe your weakness point could be your pronunciation. So maybe that's the area we should work on because other than that, I hear you very good. It would have been a 10 if I would have had a role play, but we didn't have a role play. So your score is nine. Thank you for your exposition, sir. Thank you. All righty, let's go with Daisy. Are you ready, Daisy? Yes. Good evening, teacher and classmates. My topic is modal verse and can call woe. We often use modal verse or other modal expression when we want to express an opinion or attitude about a possible fact or to control a possible action. All modal expressions are about the speaker's or writer's view of the word. Can we can divide most modal words in expression in two type, 
of meaning. The first, the speaker or writer decided how to certain something is either in the present, future, or past. They predict or speculate about a fact. The second, the speaker or writer wants to control or direct the action. They give and refuse permission. They talk about obligation and necessity. Often the same modal verb is used to express different meanings. For example, using the meanings really certain. Using the verb in this case, can. You can be hungry, you have a hot lunch. Uh, the other example, uh, using the meaning request, um, in this case, you see in the bird, whoa, would you close that door? In the other bird, cold. Could you help me write this? Thank you for your attention. Okay, that was two minutes. Okay. Show create tone, tone, and intonation. Um, uh, did not meet the time required. required and we don't have a role play so let me see we're gonna give you this score i really appreciate your effort daisy um unfortunately we didn't meet the three minutes and a half uh, your exposition lasted two minutes uh, what i liked is that you sound very knowledgeable and uh, you have a good tone. Your tone on your voice is nice, um, is adequate. Um, your intonation, I, I noticed you have some good intonation there. Okay. Uh, I noticed you have good intonation and, and, and that's good. It means that somehow you are kind of connected with watching movies, uh, with um, uh, listening to English songs, and, and that's gonna keep you uh, sound very intonated. Um, maybe the pronunciation pred predict, predict that could be um, improved, and maybe your speech itself, so you can try to last a little bit more. Um, other than that, I don't know if any kind of problem with you. In the future classes, I hope you can participate a little more in the sessions. That's all. Thank you, teacher. Sure, your score is right there. And to Oscar, I, I, I missed to tell you, Oscar, let me see. Oscar, uh, some pronunciation mistakes like meaning, meaning, okay? And also when you see the object it with, with a verb, you try to link it. You try to link the sounds like make okay. make it is gonna be make it. Like do it is gonna be do it. Do, do it. it, do it, make it, play it, dance it, teach it, understand it. So you try to link, link the sounds, okay? Thank you. Nothing but a pleasure. Who is next? Whose presentation is that? Josue, Emma, and Josh, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, Emma and Josue, are you around? Yeah, teacher, permita un momento, quiero ver si puedo compartir pantalla. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. Take your time, take your time. Don't get nervous, don't panic. <laughs> this is for my telephone. Uh, By phone? Yes, my phone. Wait. Okay, do your best. Do your best and be my guest. Bring it on. Permítame que no puedo compartir.
Vamos a ver, ahorita creo que ya. No. ¿Está compartiendo, Tisho? No. Sí, está compartiendo, compañero. Ok, ok, ok. Yes, I can see it. Ahorita, ahorita vamos. Wait, wait, wait. Take your time, don't worry, take your time. I have a little internet phone. <laughs> no okay. problem, sir. Thank you. Okay, we have the first conditional. Uh, the first conditional, the first conditional and its structure. The first conditional has the present simple after if. Then, the future simple in the other clause. Uh, its structure are if present plus present simple follow with a will plus infinity. Uh, me voy a saltar una página que es la Tercera, ok. It used, it used with the first condition. It used to talk about things which might know what will happen in the future, but, but this describes possible things which the cool easily come true. We have, we have other, for example, Uh, we have uh, with uh, the first conditional, we can use it other modal verb in the Russell part of the sentence. For example, we have we have if condition the structure Russell situation. For example, if she gets good grades, she will go to the university. Situation. If the conditional, if the condition is meet, then she definitely will go. Other example, if he, if he gets good grade result, he may go to the university. He is not a situation. He is not sure about going to the university. Okay, uh, Emma, uh, we will continue. Okay, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Out of this condition, but I'm sorry I can't turn on the camera because I'm sick. Okay, no problem, mm -hmm. Emma. Okay. What is the first conditional? The first conditional refers to probable and realistic action or event. For the first conditional, it will always be formed using if and then a such and finding it a bear in the present, then we will add a such plus will plus a bear. It can be used in two parts. For example, with the if at the beginning, beginning and using a comma after the bear. If it rains, I will take an umbrella. In this example, a, a comma will be used. Uh, if it rains, it take an umbrella. It started with a subject and with in the if in the middle. And the other way will be, you'll take an umbrella if, in, if it rains. You'll take an umbrella if it rains. Mm, in a negative form. If you don't practice, you won't get better. 
This example is with comma, but not comma. You won't get better if you don't practice. But uh, in interrogative form, uh, for example, if you practice, will you improve it? With comma, if you practice, will you improve it? No comma, will will it get better if you practice? We must not forget to add the letter S in the bear when it is in the third person. And another example. If I finish work early, we'll go to the theater. If you stay, all day on the beach, you'll get some burning. If I have time tomorrow, I will help you. It's sunny, no. we will go to the beach. <laughs> if you come to the party, you will meet my sister. If she get home late, I will be very angry. Uh, this uh, some example about the first condition and then, then is all for me. Teacher, can I continue? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we have uh, we have two two different uh, uh, conditionals. The first and zero conditional. Okay. The first conditional describes a, par a particular situation. Whereas, whereas uh, the zero conditional describe what happened in general. Okay, it's all for me. It's all for me. In, in the first conditional, don't forget the has the present simple after it, then the future simple in the other clause. For example, if plus present simple will plus bear infinity. Thank you. Outstanding, folks. Do you have a role play for us? You got me very shocked right now if you have a, a role play as well. Do you? Jose, well, you say, can, can you mean, repeat it? Yeah, if you have a role play, did you prepare a role play or no? Role Emma? play. A role play. No, you, you see the topic. Uh, what is a uh, role play? Role play role is play. a conversation that you are supposed to prepare. In this case, it could be a conversation using the um, first conditional. Uh, no, we don't have a, we don't have a, we don't have a, a conversation, only examples. No tenemos una conversación, solo ejemplos. <laughs> Who's saying <Yes>. that? <laughs> what happened with I that? understand. I totally what understand. Was that? <laughs> it's not necessary. Uh, uh. <laughs> tiene <el> traductor? <laughs> okay. okay. No worries. Uh, the only thing is that I'm going to deduct you one point for that reason. Um, but you make me okay. laugh already. You made me laugh. Hey, thank you for the efforts in um, pronunciation gaps, just like plus, the sign, the plus, plus, mathematic procedure. Yeah, plus. Uh, it's, it's, used, it's used to talk. It's used to talk. It's used to talk. Is used? No. Is used? Uh-uh. It's used yes, to, to talk. talk. Yes. Uh, what else? Let me see. Um, future. 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 Josue? Future. Future. Okay. Um, future. Definitely. 
Definitely. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Beginning. Beginning. Begin. Beginning. I will. I will. The contraction I will is I'll. I'll. Oh, L. The tongue up. I'll. I'll take. I'll take it. I'll bring it. I'll go. I'll study, etc. Okay. You have your scores right there. Thank you so much, Jose and Emma. Okay, thank you. Give me one second. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I just posted this course. Okay. Somebody else, who is next? Do we have another exposition or are we done with the expositions? Teacher, I, I want to, to, to tell you something. Um, I, I have a very busy weekend and I have, I have to work and I have no time to do my homework, but if you want, I can tell you uh, a little bit that I learned in this program. Um, as long as you have a topic, because we have five different topics you are I, supposed I, I can to talk, talk about. I can talk about uh, infinitives and gerunds. Okay. Sounds good. Are you doing are you doing this alone? Are you doing this by yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm talking. But Who's I, your I don't partner? know. If I, I, no, my partner, she already do her homework. She did it uh, Friday. Oh, yeah, it's true. It's true. I remember. Okay. In that case, tell me, tell me. Let's start with your exposition on three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Infinitives and gerunds are to express uses and purposes. Keep in mind that meaning doesn't change what changes is the structure. When we use an infinitive, we must use the particle to plus verb. Example, I use my bike to travel around the city. To travel around the city is the purpose. I study English to become a bilingual. To become a bilingual is the purpose. When we use a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ENG. Example, I use my bike for traveling around the city. For traveling around the city, is the purpose. I study English for becoming a bilingual. For becoming a bilingual is the purpose. Okay, this is very important. If you pay attention in both examples, the use and purpose is the same, but it is so important to notice that. When we use infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we must use the, the word for before the verb. And the verb has to go with in ENG. But it is not correct to say, I go to the supermarket for buy food, nor I go to the supermarket to buy food. 
that is incorrect. Okay, that's all, teacher. Okay, let me see how long was that. That was two minutes. It was two minutes, Joel. Okay. I'm gonna assign you one score for that. Let me see. The good or the good thing or the important thing is to to comply, okay, to comply with the um, requirements. Okay. Who else is ready for the exposition? Joel. We finished with the expositions, is that right? Teacher. Yes. Voy a hacer mi presentación. <laughs> Excellent. Yo estaba pendiente Excellent. de la semana pasada. Okay, Sarah, I'm all ears. Go ahead. Okay, voy a compartir pantalla. Vamos a ver. La ven. Let me see. No, not yet. No. No. No, no, no. no, no. Okay, no. quiero ver. Permítanme. Voy a intentar. Ay, no. Quiero compartir pantalla, teacher. Permítame, permítame. Try, take your time, no worries. Ya voy, permítame. Me van a ayudar. Oh, sí. There you go. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, I sí. see. Okay. Okay. Um, the presentation the topic infinity and gerunds. Uh, infinity and uh, infinity is a two plus the base for four of the verb, we can use infinity after certain adjectives. We can use an infinity after certain verbs. We can use an infinity after expression begin with it. Examples, to sleep, to take, to show, to rule. To, to roll. Let's see a complete senten sentence with an infinity. I am, I, perdón, I remember to take my umbrella. Um, two plus base four of the verb equal infinity. The class we be hard to pass. It's important to stay calm. This game is fun to play. Mars examples. An infinity after certain uh, objects. Are you happy to go to war? An infinity after certain birds. I need to take a break. An infinity after expression begin with it. It's important to hire to write people for the job. Um, gerunds. A gerund is the ENG form of a verb. A gerund in in first no sé cómo se pronuncia can be the, be the subject 
of a sentence. A gerund can be an object of the verb. A gerund can be the, the object of preposition. Example, feeding, fighting, perdón, fighting, taking, Ay, no, no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia, grating, running. Let's see a complete sen sentence with a gerund. Feeding a joke is hard. Preposition plus ver igual, igual gerund. Thank you for helping me. I say him from Firing. Think about calling here. More examples. I turn as a subject of a sen of a sentence. Feeling a joy is hard. I turn as the object of the verb. I recommend talking to a teacher. I turn as object object of the preposition. Are you thinking about changing your car? Um, thank you. This is the, thank you. <laughs> Only. Okay, that was two minutes and 30 seconds. Thank you so much for your big effort. I appreciate the PDF presentation also. Sarah, Sarah, right? It's correct, Sarah? Okay. okay. Yes. Do we have somebody else, people? Yes, me teacher. teacher. Okay, teacher. one sec, one sec, <laughs> one sec, Elizabeth. Are you ready, Elizabeth? I, I'm I'm not tan ready, pero but I, <laughs> almost I ready, tried. somehow ready. Okay. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. Fluency and pronunciation. Pronunciation must be improved. Okay, Sarah, we have some uh, pronunciation mistakes like um, 13. Certain. 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 Begin. Certain. Begin. 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 ING. ING. Phrase. 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 Example. 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 Writing. You can Write. say writing. 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 Or writing. Writing. Fine. Finding. 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 I think Finding. that your pronunciation and your intonation is what we need to work on. We need to continue working on improving your, your accent, okay? Thank you. So you can sound like more American accent. Uh, keep, keep connected with the language. Oral practice, oral practice, listening to songs in English, singing songs in English, watching movies in English with the captions in English and getting vocabulary, more vocabulary from movies. See. Hi. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for your effort. Thank and let's you. go with Elizabeth. She's so impatient right now. Are you ready, Ellie? Okay. Bring it on. <laughs> But I want to share, I try, want to share my screen. 
Sara, you, I estoy bloqueada. Yes, Sara, you need to stop sharing, Sara. Stop sharing, Sara. Sí, ahorita la equipo. Okay. Thank you, Sara. Okay, let's go, Elizabeth. No, <laughs> you can do it, ladies. You can do it. You have a lot of support. Yes. No. Teacher, teacher, uh, I share with you and you share in the group, please. Okay, please, sure. Um, I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to share it on the group? And uh, the okay. chat group. Okay. Let me go to the group chat. No. <clears throat> okay, I sent. Okay, let me open that up. Mm, yeah, I see it. Okay. I see it. Now I need to wait for my WhatsApp web to load. Just one sec. Besides Elizabeth, who is ready to pass? Me. Who's that? Who's that? Sophia, Sophia. Sophia, okay. So, so I have Elizabeth. I have Sophia. Is there somebody else? That's it. Only two more expositions. Me, teacher. Okay, cool. So we have three more expositions. So I think we're gonna finish with one more expositions, and the rest will have to continue tomorrow. So that's good and bad. But we gotta be positive. Okay, I have access now to the presentation. Let me download it. Let me download it now. Here it is, here it is. It's a PD, it's a PowerPoint presentation. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let me go back to Zoom and we're going to share. Can you let me know, guys? Visualize, visualize my screen. No. 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 That's weird. Let me try again. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Let's see. Be happy. Yeah, don't <laughs> worry. Be happy. Almost, almost, okay. almost, almost. What about now? What about now? Okay. Can you see it, folks? Yes. Yes. All right. Tell yes. me something. Tell me something. Talk yes. To me. Okay. Yes, okay. I do. Okay. 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 So let's go with Elizabeth. Ready, Elizabeth? Let's rock and roll. <laughs> okay. Let me take a breath. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Serious out nervous <laughs> okay good evening teacher good evening ladies and gentlemen this 
uh, my topic is first conditional. I tell you last weekend, no, last Friday, my partner Nelson is a good student. He present his exposition. And, and now I tell, tell us about for me part exposition. Uh, my topic is Tanan first conditional. Diapositiva two, please, slash two. two. Bueno. Wait, something uh, is stuck. Wait. Yes. There you go. So, okay. The first conditional has a structure. A structure is composed for if clauses and make clauses. The if clause uh, is a uh, present simple tense in in and. In, and uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Representa. Represents. Uh, represent a condition. And may clauses is in the future, simple tense, and represent the result. Uh, when the, free, the first conditional is talking about the possible, possibility in the present or future events also is used no is used to express a real over or over or, or over possible situation in the future it refers to things that will possibly happen in the future if a condition is met we are a predicting a likely result in the future and first conditional are also known as type one conditional. The first conditional is common when we are talking about possible plans, promise, warning, threats, or for or for persuading someone. Some examples in next slide. And my teacher, Bob, teacher, okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, for example, uh, in the first class plus present simple trends is represent the class, uh, represent the condition, use the if plus a subject mm -hmm. plus there in simple present. And when you writing the sentences, uh, you write comma, you use comma. Yes. And after a Soldier plus will or moral bears plus bear principal simple and example examples are if I if I study I will pass my exam and. <laughs> A supreme exam, but is exam. You you see? Do you see? <laughs> I do. <laughs> if you if you do your homework, you may watch television. You um, do you see the more bear? May. Uh, and next. If you eat your vegetables, you can play with your friends. And if you feel well, you should rest. 
other examples are uh, if you go to the if I go to Italy next week for work, I'll visit the Colosseum. Mm -hmm. This is uh, my pos possible plan. And uh, if I have time tomorrow, mm -hmm. I'll help you. Uh, this is a promise. And I, no, if you touch the wire, you'll get an electric shock. This is a warning. If you eat my chocolates, you'll sleep outside with the dog. Ouch. This is a treat. <laughs> this is a treat. Oh my God. <laughs> and if you try use to the, uh, if you try as to the concert, I paid for the parking. Here I'm persuading someone. And I compare, I share with you uh, this topic first conditional. I hope. <laughs> You agree? <laughs> Absolutely, Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Great, great job. Let me go over some corrections. Yes, please. Real quick. Hey, I really, well, first uh, pronunciation, like a slide is the singular form, a slide, like in the presentation. And then plural is slides. Slides, a slide, slide, singular, slides, plural. Next slides. is composed, composed by, composed, composed by, by, composed, and composed by. with the T, 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 T sound, composed, Com composed by, possibility, possibility, a possi possibility. You can say possibility. Ah, okay. Yes, I can say possibility. Okay. The other one is possibly. Possibly. Uh -huh. Possibly. The next one is oh, okay. ill. 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 The next one is touch. Ill. Touch. A touch. touch. Good job on your PDF file. Uh, you sound very friendly and dynamic, so keep up the great work. Your score is very nice because you exceeded the time required. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Oh, thank you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Keep up the great thank work, so okay? Much. Keep it up. You're doing great so far. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's go ahead and finish the class with calling the attendance out. Uh, let me check right now. <clears throat> People pending of expositions, you will move on tomorrow. No worries. Your time, your time will come. Your time will come. Let me say the following names. Ana Julia Mayora Rodriguez. Are you there? Present. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Okay, Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here, teacher. Thank you for being there. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Hi there. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you much. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. I'm here, teacher. Absolutely. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you much. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Here, teacher. Thank you, Elvia. Emma Jamilet Correa Madrid. Present, teacher. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Thank you, teacher. Joshi Beth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. It is Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Here, teacher. Joel Ulysses Menjiver Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Josue Neftali Cibrian Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio.
Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present teacher. Thank you much. I'm here teacher, Manuel. Thank you, Manuel, appreciate it. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here teacher. Thank you, Monique. Natalie Geraldine Flores Caldames. I'm here, teacher. Oops, okay, thank you. Um, Nelson Rolando Melgar. I am here, teacher. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Present, teacher. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Patricia Veronica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Present teacher. Sarah Maria Molina Cubias. Present teacher. Saul Arnulfo Mejiver Crespin. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Pre I'll see you guys teacher. tomorrow. Eh, Who's se, that? Se, se cortó el internet un momento. Who's that? Present. Who are you? Okay. What's your Pablo. name? Pablo. Pablo Reyes. Yeah, yes. I got you right here, Pablo. Thank you for your attendance, folks. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Night, night. Bye-bye. Bye. Drink bye. with the Nailer Angels. Bye-bye. Take it easy. Teacher, I have a question. Oh, yeah? Tell me. If I make the exposition alone, I have to talk seven minutes or just half, half of the time? it. Half of it. That would be three minutes and a half. Okay. Thank you. You betcha. You're passing tomorrow, are you? Yes. Super duper. Okay, good night. Let's continue tomorrow then. Bye. Bye. Bye.